outside Gary and the UV index is at 10. If you're out in the sun on days like today it won't take long for you or your little one to get sunburned and if you you may be surprised to hear the sunscreen you're using is not providing the protection it promises. Dr. Mary Ann Bowman joins me now with tips to make sure you're safe in the sun. Thanks for being here. Oh it's my pleasure. It's that time of year. It is. The protection is so important right now. It what can do we be need really, to know? It can be really risky when that yes. UV index that's made by the EPA and the National Weather Service and when it's 10 you know one to ten, ten is high. Yes. And so it means that if you're out there, if your kids are swimming, uh, if they're playing outside, they won't pay attention to it. So you have to for both adults and for children. Some other numbers we need to pay attention to are the numbers on the sunscreen. It, yes. Higher, is it necessarily better? We really want people to be at 30. You okay. should be using 30. You know, there is no benefit to tanning. I mean, it really just damages your skin. Even though you use the self-tanning creams, but put 30 on. The key is put it on 20 to 30 minutes before you go out. Okay. Then after you're out, just put some more on again, and then every two to three hours minimum, you want to put it on. And if you have little ones, you obviously want them to be protected, but do you need to kind of analyze age when you're looking at sunscreen or not necessarily? Well, we don't use the sunscreens under six months of age, so that's something that you need to be careful about. And really, those children do not need to be out in that sun. They need to be protected. Their skin is very, very delicate. Um, you need also to figure you put enough on. For an adult, you're simply putting two ounces, one to two ounces on your skin. Uh, people just dab it here, dab it right. there. It's not enough. You need to put it on. If you are swimming, drying, sweating, it's not going to stay on there. So you need to, you need to put it on again. And there are expiration dates. That's oh, something that, those, that yeah. I haven't paid attention to. Yes. Expiration dates on it. If they don't have an expiration date, three years, throw it out, get some fresh. If it's been in your car, you know, I carry one in my car. If it gets really warm, it's also less effective. It's really not unusual for any of us to carry it from season to season, so yeah. we need to look for that number. What about shade? Do we need to be as concerned about sunscreen as shade? Uh, we need to be concerned on cloudy days, okay? okay, because that UV light can come right through those clouds and it can burn you. Um, as far as the shade, if you're in the shade and not getting reflection, that is a good thing. Wearing, it's hard to wear, but long clothing, hats, don't forget your eyes. You want protected UV light sun, uh, sunglasses and your lips, lip balm. We don't want old wrinkly lips no, we and we don't. don't want skin cancer on our lips either. Yes, you're so right about that. <laughs> One more question. The kiddos going to like a baseball game. They're going to be out on the field for a while. How can we protect them? Uh, they do need to wear their hats, but really, you know, coaches, sunscreen. Have these kids put it on. They don't need burns. That's not part of the game. Dr. Mary Ann Bowman, <laughs> always a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Me. A message for parents and coaches.